Hello friends, hope you all are doing good. And uh, in past couple of weeks, I am getting requests regarding that how to search uh, during recession. We are not getting calls. Okay, so I have jotted down some points. Although I have covered these points in my previous video, but uh, in these uh, in this video, I am going to uh, like jot down all the points and uh, put it in a single video. So I don't think uh, we have officially uh, entered in recession like there is not a single country that will come forward and tell that okay now we are in recession but uh, as you can see in the jobs market and in the economy uh, side also so from there we can we can simply say that we are in recession okay and uh, i think we entered in a recession because of covid covid is also one of the great factors for it because at the time of covid uh, like US government and Indian government also uh, like they give re relief packages so what happens in that that uh, like they print lot of money okay then what happens that when everyone will get money so the prices will shoot up just uh, take an example on day to day commodity like uh, let's say petrol see petrol is going higher real estate uh, the flat which used to cost, uh, cost in my society is now costing like almost double so rate like the real estate uh, prices are almost double in in past two years just after covid okay so this is the reason that what happens is that okay now let us think uh, let us see this recession and uh, jot it down with the economy so once we have lot of money then those people who are getting a lot of uh, like uh, people have got lot of money then they will spend uh, those uh, money on the things and the stock prices of all the uh, let's say netflix facebook okay uh, when people buy these things the stock price will go up and because of that now we are at a stagnant state okay so after that what is happening that the investors are pushing forward that okay uh, just uh, like uh, we need profits investor only need profits so what happens is that they only have two option either like uh, raise or do profits or cost cutting so organizations are right now going towards this this approach because it's not uh, like uh, doing profits is not at always your hand but cutting cost is in your hand so that's why like all the engineers which they have hired in past one year they are uh, like firing them okay this is the reason like uh, nowadays you will see a lot of uh, like um, post regarding that uh, this organization is firing this much okay so like these are all the things which lead to recession and i think this recession recession thing is going to stay for at least six months okay it's not going anywhere soon but we don't have to fear because uh, recession is not in our hand so what we can do the first thing i'll suggest you is that uh, build network okay maybe uh, go on linkedin and try to like uh, increase your network so that whenever let's say be prepared for tomorrow uh, tomorrow you lose your job then uh, you should have a uh, pretty big linkedin family who uh, you can like get a shout out or uh, like the more number of network you have the no more number of people you have in your network the more uh, like audience uh, you will be able to cater to okay and uh, the more number of people uh, you will be able to get help from so this is one thing and apart from that like on linkedin don't just uh, like mindlessly send request to hrs and like uh, engineering managers don't just do that uh, simply comment or start it slowly otherwise it can happen that linkedin may restrict your reach okay <clears throat> they will see the as they will see you as a spam that uh, this guy is sending 50 requests per day to these recruiters then like they can restrict your reach so what happened uh, like what i can suggest that uh, like there's a different like you can find couple of videos on how to increase your uh, linkedin like network so you can watch it or maybe we can cover it in some different video okay apart from that uh, like whatever network uh, you are doing like whatever project you are doing uh, so just put it on github
because until and unless you put it on github like there is no way for me to know that okay you have done this project right so uh, like showcase your skill showcase your skill uh, to your network maybe after doing uh, your project you can put it on linkedin so everything is interconnected you got my point that after uh, doing this you just uh, like put it on linkedin that way like more um, recruiters more managers will get to know that okay uh, this guy has done this much project same goes for certifications so this is a high time that i have already covered in my previous video that within one week you can simply do uh, let's say azure fundamental certification az900 or if you start with aws then i think two weeks are more than enough for you to clear this aws fundamental exam okay so these are the things which you can start with and once once you have that uh, like base once you have built your base in uh, like any of the like uh, this is regarding cloud maybe uh, you can do this scrum master certification or probably istqb certification if you are uh, like if you haven't done it okay so these are the things which you can do to increase your value as a candidate because after that once the market will open up then you have a right time i think uh, you have a high time that uh, you can add these skills in your resume and it will like your resume will obviously stand out okay now the third point is that like select good organizations so this um, th this is the case that once let's say you have two organization okay a is paying you x and b is paying you x plus 5 lpa but a has that reputation that uh, they haven't fired people in like a uh, past couple of years like they don't have that image okay i know one such organization like uh, it's, it it was my first organization hugh sisti cooperation and back in 2008 when there was this uh, depression and uh, recession uh, kind of thing so then also they haven't fired anyone and uh, i like i know that in covid also they have not haven't fired anyone so try to go for these organization uh, which are recession proof okay that is one of the uh, like one of the things which you can do because what candidates do that uh, once getting offer from a and b they will see that okay b is paying me x plus 5 lpa then obviously b is good organization but you don't have to think of it that if uh, you don't have to like think it in this way and try to uh, go with those organization at this time or like this is applicable uh, for most of the times okay and that depends on your profile also so if you are young and probably like less than 5 years of experience then go with the startups but at the end of your career like not your career but um, you are like if you are 10 plus or maybe 15 plus of experience then at that time try to uh, look out for those uh, like recession proof organizations that was my motive of uh, this point okay and coming to some other tips so here like the first thing is that don't spend recklessly okay see right now it's december and most of the uh, guys will get their bonuses and uh, like appraisals in the month of uh, february march or april so this march april cycle so don't like if you have got a good amount then don't just spend it recklessly that okay buy a new gadget flashy gadget even if you don't need it if you need it then obviously like buy it any time but uh, this is like maybe spend like cut down on those expenses which you feel like you can live without okay so that's one thing that and one more like rule of thumb is that you should let's say right now you are spending 5 like 50k per month okay that's your spending that no matter what happens you have to spend this much then at least have like 6 to 9 months of uh, money in your uh, saving savings account that money should not be in any fd or like any mutual funds stay away from these things at this time like don't do fd also just put it uh, that amount uh, like uh, at this rate it will be like 3 lakh rupees just put it in your savings account that's it and uh, the last thing is that like uh, stay positive yeah. and like it's very easy to say stay positive but uh, like be physically active uh, like do whatever you want to do and uh, like do what what makes you happy okay you don't have to all the time like think about that okay i have lost my job and like i'm not getting calls don't like all the time don't it's it's like it's very much humanly that you will get these kind of thoughts but uh, if you will stay active and be physically active then i think at 
like to a some extent you can um, like dip, uh, suppress these kind of thoughts so that was like my like couple of points which i have which i personally feel will help you in searching out for jobs and in recession in particular because um, i think this is not uh, going for another six months so like be, pre be prepared for it and um, it's not always happen that okay only uh, like top only bad performers are uh, fired at the time of recession i know like some organization in which they hire a particular product like a particular vertical only so no matter if you are uh, like if you are in the top or in the bottom everyone in this like in this vertical will get fired okay so it depends on your luck also but if you can follow these approaches okay and keep uh, upgrading and upskilling yourself then i think uh, you will get like you will get that job so that's it guys if you still have any doubt just comment down below and uh, like we can discuss more over it thank you